Hi all, this is Silver Junk here. Welcome to my networking channel. The purpose of this channel is to cover from basic to advanced networking including the latest networking technologies. Today the topic I am going to discuss about trunking. Before that, let us understand the basic concepts of VLAN. VLAN is logically segmenting a switch into multiple smaller broadcast domain. There are two types of VLAN, static and dynamic VLAN. What is VTP? VTP is a VLAN trunking protocol for sharing VLAN information across all the switches in the same VTP domain. So there are three VTP modes. One is a server mode, client mode and transparent mode. Now let us understand the difference between access and the trunk link. So access link makes switch port a single part of VLAN that is in a singular VLAN in which the end workstations are connected to access port. So trunk link is a 100 or a 1000 MVS link that exists between two switches for carrying multiple VLANs across the same link. So trunk link is a switch to switch communication for carrying multiple VLANs. So what is a frame tagging protocol? There are two types of protocol. One is ISL that is Cisco proprietary. ISL stands for inter switch link. So it adds a 26 byte header and 4 byte trailer to the frames. So since the tagging is done at both the header and the trailer end, so we call this as a double tagging. So the header information contains source VLAN and the trailer end contains CRC which is for checking the integrity of the frame. So as the trunk link transport multiple VLANs across the same link, so at the transmitting end, it will encapsulate the frame with the source VLAN and the CRC information. At the receiving end, it will strip off both the tag. So it will check which frame belongs to which VLAN. So once it identify all the VLAN information, only it will transport the original frame to the end VLAN. So that is the purpose of frame tagging protocol. So at the transmitting end, it encapsulates with the source VLAN and the CRC information and at the receiving end, it will strip off both the tag and it will pass only the frame to the end VLAN. This is the purpose of frame tagging and the protocol is inter switch link which is Cisco proprietary. And the second protocol is IEEE 802.1Q which is a standard base which introduces the concept of native VLAN. So native VLAN is a method of carrying untagged traffic. So it embeds the tagging information within a single frame. So that is the reason we call this as a single tagging. And this 4 bytes tag contains tag protocol identifier and tag control information. So what is native VLAN? VLAN 1 is a management VLAN and it is not tagged. So native VLAN is a method of carrying untagged information and it is supported by protocol 802.1Q. And what is DTP? DTP is a dynamic trunking protocol that negotiates a common trunking mode between the two neighboring switches. It can be either inter switch link or IEEE 802.1Q. So ISL is Cisco proprietary and IEEE 802.1Q is standard based. So how to configure DTP? Go to the configuration mode and specify switchboard trunk encapsulation. We have to specify the frame tagging protocol whether it is an ISL or it is a dot one q Then I have to specify switchboard trunk allowed VLAN 10. This is for allowing any specific VLAN information on the trunk link. Then I have to specify the trunking mode whether it is a dynamic desirable mode, auto mode or it is an unconditional trunk. So let us discuss the trunking mode. So the trunk always puts the port in a permanent trunking mode. So DTP is still operational. So this maintain an unconditional trunk between the two neighboring switches. So dynamic desirable this port actively attempts to convert the link into a trunking mode. So this is the active behavior. Dynamic auto is a passive behavior. In the sense the port only will be converted to a trunk if the forend switch initiates or requests a trunk. So what are the scenarios the trunk will establish between the two switches? So either both should be in a dynamic desirable mode or one should be in a dynamic auto or dynamic desirable mode to form a trunk link between the neighboring switches. In the first scenario, since both are in dynamic auto, so both are in a passive behavior, the trunk link will not establish because this switch will wait for the other end switch to initiate a trunk. Same way this switch also wait for the other end to initiate a trunk. So at the end the trunk link will not establish between the neighboring switches. So what are the VTP mode? 
the first mode is server mode in which we can create, modify or delete any VLAN information and client mode we can't change any VLAN information, we can't edit, modify or delete any VLAN configuration. So VTP transparent mode, a switch operating in this mode does not participate in VTP. So what is VTP pruning? It increases the network bandwidth by reducing unnecessary flooded traffic such as broadcast, multicast and unknown traffic especially on a trunk link. So VTP pruning is disabled by default. We can enable by VTP pruning command. So what are the key points to remember for creating a VLAN? So first we have to create a VLAN with VLAN 10 name sales. Then I have to create a logical interface for this VLAN. Then after that I have to assign the access ports to the VLAN. So these are the three steps for creating the VLAN or and assigning the ports to the corresponding VLAN. Second is the trunking. So I have to specify the switch to switch communication. So I have to enable VTP and the trunking mode and the encapsulation protocol between the switches. So first I have to specify the VTP mode whether it is server or the client mode. Then I have to specify the VTP domain name. So all the switches should be in the same VTP domain name. Then I have to specify the trunking mode, switchboard mode trunk. So it can be either trunk mode or dynamic auto or dynamic desirable. So this uh, trunk is an unconditional trunk mode that is established between the two switches. Then I have to specify the frame tagging protocol by switchboard trunk encapsulation dot one q. So it can be either ISL or dot one q. I hope you understood. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you.